Hi guys, just going to take this opportunity to do a little review video of this Anker 555 solar generator. I've had this unit about 10 months, this is not gifted or this is not a paid review, this is my own personal solar generator I've brought with my own hard earned cash. I've used it on numerous camping trips, uh, I've used it for my work, it's, it's been a good little unit so I thought I'd just do a, a little honest review what I like about it, a couple of things I'm not too keen on, but um, we'll just go through some of the features. So the unit itself is over a, a thousand watt output, so you can power a home size fridge freezer for 10 hours in the event of a blackout. Uh, you could charge your tech, you could charge all kinds of devices, lights, torches, you can power radio equipment, you could use it for so many things even uh, you know lower wattage electric blankets that sort of thing if it's really cold and you have a power out so on the front here you've got three type C USBs there's one with a hundred watt output you've got two smart USB to old school USBs and uh, where I'm in the UK you've got two 240 outputs on the front this is a light which is quite a nice touch, especially for camping. So just an on off button there. You can charge it. Um, you can charge it with the mains. You can charge it with solar. It's, um, it's a versatile unit. There's a 12 volt car output on the front as well. The cigarette lighter style um, socket on the front, on the rear. You've got your DC input where you plug either your mains or your solar in. Charging times, it all depends on the sun. Um, if you've got a really nice bright sunny day without a cloud in the sky like today, maybe four or five hours um, from you know virtually flat to a charge, or you can just, uh, I try and keep it around 50% charge and then it doesn't take long to top it back up and with the battery technology in it it holds a charge for a long time months so you could have this sat in a cupboard ready to go in case of an emergency the pros compared to a petrol generator you've obviously got unlimited power if you have a petrol generator which these units are quite expensive so in comparison yes you could get a petrol generator which will run for however however long the mo you know if you can just keep chucking petrol in it whereas this when it's dead it's dead unless you've got sun but it's also silent it gives off no fumes so you can use it in your tent when you're camping it doesn't make any noise so it's not gonna upset anyone who's camping around you if you're at a campsite if you're using it in your house it's it's, it's obviously silent. It's, it's got a fair bit of weight to it. It's not not too bad as they go. Uh, the bigger units are way heavier. So this one I think is about the limit of taking it camping. You definitely wouldn't be backpacking off anywhere with it. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's been a great little unit. I'll just run through the charging uh, bits that come with it when I brought it from Anchor directly and show you the solar panel setup and the mains adapter. So this is the standard UK mains adapter that comes with it. Obviously you've got your 240 household plug and then you've got your 12 volt plug on the back that plugs into the unit. This was the solar panel option that I went with when I purchased it. In this top mesh pouch when you open it You've got your lead. It's quite a long lead actually to come with it, with the adapt this adapter cable. So this plugs in to this connection box here, and I like to like leave that all plugged in, so I can get unfurl it pretty quick if I'm going to put it out for a charge. The panel itself just velcros and it opens out like this and on, on the rear 
you have these two legs that fold out and then this pouch actually folds out and forms another leg so I'll set it up quickly now so you can see got no weight to it this is really really good I have actually been caught out a couple of times with this panel in some light showers as well and it's took getting wet and uh, I'm not sure what it's made of but it feels really durable it's got slight flex to it but this panel has been really really good and obviously where it folds up in a handy size it's it's just been amazing to take it with us camping where it doesn't take up much room so when I plug the solar panel in because we've obviously got direct sunlight it will start charging instantly so on the display here it's now telling me it's charging uh, this is currently at 92% charge so it's got a little display down on here that tells you how long it would take to reach a full charge so this is now I haven't got it in the optimum position for the Sun so it's saying it would take an hour at where I've got it but if I tweak the panel round and get it at the right angle that would drop drastically so uh, it's got this small gauge on the panel that you align the dot in the middle and that gives you the optimum angle for catching the sun so you can move the panel around through the day. Well, I'm just going to run through a couple of the pros and cons now. First real positive is how compact and how much power this thing packs. It's really really got a lot of power for its size and it's like I said it's not too heavy so moving it around in the house or ch chucking it in the car when you go camping perfect for that. If you've got kids like I have it's amazing to just have something that can keep all their tech charged so it's the times we live in the kids have got their games consoles tablets and stuff so having this on a holiday like that camping's amazing to keep the kids stuff charged and uh, if you took a dvd player or something and, a, t and a, t a portable tv you can power it for uh, you know all day off that um, one thing uh, one downside is unless you've got really strong sunlight the charging time can be you know drawn right out if you've got intermittent clouding and you know the sun's not so strong in the winter um, it can take 10 hours plus to charge but that comes with the territory of solar uh, it's a balancing act but for the silent running no fumes it's it's a, it's a good thing to have as a backup if you work in a job where you need internet connection all the time um, and you obviously using a laptop for work if you have power issues then you could charge a laptop probably seven or eight times off this from dead run your um, you know your internet uh, Wi-Fi power that at the same time so you can stay online in a power cut so um, that's something to think about for a backup and having it in the house. I've even wedged the panel in the windows before and charged charged in the house having the solar panel just wedged in the window. And it, although it does take longer, it does still work. Um, you could also uh, keep this where it does retain its battery life for so long. You could just keep this you know, in, a, in, in, the, in the cupboard, in the event of an emergency, knowing that you could save the food in your fridge, freezer. I mean, fridge freezers take ages to defrost, so if you kept powering it on, powering it off, powering it on, powering it off, you could probably extend 48 hours, I would have thought, of keeping the food and everything in your freezer safe. So, uh, I mean, if you live in an area where you get blackouts, You've probably already got some sort of really good petrol generator, uh, but this is a, this is a good option if you're um, thinking about 
some sort of backup system. Um, and like I say, because it is so versatile and you can take it camping um, or just, you know, on days out, it's, it's absolutely brilliant and the panel folds up really small. I hope you found this video useful. If you like it, please can you like the video and potentially subscribe to my channel for similar content. It would really help my channel grow. So uh, that would be fantastic. So thanks again and I'll see you next time.